ghost back on 6th street Hearing you whisper through the phone Wait for me to come home That's Ed Sheeran Hey, how are you guys? Um, so Guess what I did today I bet you'll never guess I dyed my hair pink Um it's so funny, so I have a couple uh, videos I'll just put up on how I came, how I uh, did my color. Um, Cause I mixed, uh, I mixed some colors um, to get, to get, to get these different colors. So hopefully you guys like these colors. It's kind of pretty, aren't they? I did like some oranges and some pink and some UV pink. So it should be really cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, the uh the uh, it's so like black looks like it's about there's like major major rainstorms that are like over the horizon anyway i'm running to the post office as you guys always go with me to drop off some of my ebay stuff i um am dropping this one uh, i've got it's a big box and i've got it make it by five because i won't i won't be able to like just Put it in the little outdoor box and then I'm gonna go work out you guys we're gonna go work out so remember uh, remember what I talk about how I say the little uh, the slow turtle gets it so that's what we're doing you guys we're the little slow turtle we're just gonna keep going at it um, so today the goal is gonna be uh, cardio 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 and but I'm gonna start doing a lot more weights I'm starting to put free weights in so I've got my ear set on I've got my <laughs> armband we're gonna do some really cool uh, circuitry uh, circuit sets that's what I will definitely uh, get on that with you guys um, but you know it's so funny this whole uh, thing of uh, doing your hair I used to have pink hair like that's the only color I ever was and then I went to like teal and turquoise and then I did lime green and then I met mint green and I've done all these colors I love I love fashion colors I think they're fun um, and then when I moved here, I put my hair all the way back to its natural blonde because um, I was gonna have to like work in a gym setting and, and all the and all the places out here need your hair to quote unquote be natural hair color. And I guess pink is not a natural hair color. Oh my gosh, this clouds. I might have to, uh, I literally feel like driving around in, in Tucson Sometimes it's, I don't, I can't, I've never, I've never ever, anywhere I've lived, have I ever experienced clouds like the clouds here. The clouds here are, it's almost like the rapture is occurring. I've just never, I've never experienced clouds like this. The clouds are just, uh, they're really pretty incredible. But anyway, um, back to fashion colors and, and, and back to hair and stuff like that. So here's the thing that's really funny is, um, you know, hair is hair who cares what color it is I mean why should the color of your hair distract you from buying if you're clean if your hair is clean if your body's clean like I can say that like please do not apply for a job if you need to take a shower or you know uh, I can understand if your hair is long and they want it pulled back I still don't think that they should discriminate you if you have long hair or not um, I think that you know um, Boy, did this come up fast today? Wow, you guys, that was like fast, 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 huh? Normally, this seems like it takes a little bit longer. But anyway, um, so this whole color, this whole question about like hair color, fashion hair color, um, you know, a lot of people just don't. I know my brother does not like my hair pink. In fact, he said that if I wanted to be uh, in his wedding, you know, he was having a wedding. Um, Oh, I'm gonna have to take pictures of those of those guys. That he wanted me to have my hair a, na a natural color. So probably when they look back at photographs and stuff, it's a natural color. But anyway, I just think it's it's funny, and that's my brother who I love more than anything. But people, there are some people that just do not like uh, fashion colors in your hair. But then I say, you know, what's what is auburn? What is red? And how different is that from pink? Do you know at what point is it a fashion color and at what point is it hair dye? Um, black hair dye, what, what, 
are we discriminating against black hair dye um, in a good way saying that oh no you can do your hair black but you can't do it dark purple I don't know if you've ever seen black on a shiny day but sometimes a real jet black can have glimpses of purple in it so I don't know you know I'm just one of those people that I just hate people that discriminate against color in fact I love companies um, like and subscribe below and let me know if you're a company that encourages uh, creativeness or if you know of companies that do not discriminate uh, based on hair color um, now I think it's I think it's the employees right I'm not I'm not against this I think it's the employees employers right to do that I just think it's really odd I don't think hair color if anything I think someone that does hair color is someone that is uh, really cool right okay you guys I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go drop my stuff off and I'll be right back bye oh my gosh you guys it is going to pour which is gonna be kind of cool um, because it'll be neat to hear uh, the raindrops I love hearing the raindrops I have a convertible so and I have a soft top so it uh, comes down on the top of my uh, car like little sprinkles. I have to go over a little little bump here. I probably could have done it, but I just I don't wanna wanna be when it rains I always think you should be a little bit more conservative, right? Hear that? Yay! It's a beautiful pitter pattering. Beautiful pitter pattering should turn my lights on. Yay, it's a pitter pattering of a, what day is it? Anyway, so you guys were talking about uh, hair color and um, here's my thing. So tell me, are you a color girl? Do you love fashion colors? Do you hate fashion colors? Um, and I'm going to say the same thing I said yesterday in today's vlog and that is that if I lived on a planet all by myself, let's call it planet Zeptune Zarena Mane <laughs> I would have pink hair so I do not do my hair color to get attention I do it because I love color I love the color of the sunset I love the color I grew up in Hawaii as a as a, as a little kid and one of my favorite things is uh, first of all number one is sunset and number two is bougainvillea the color of bougainvillea and I've always said if you were to ask me what color I would be, I would be like this color. And you can kind of say I have like some oranges in this too. I would be like an an orangey fuchsia pink. Oh, with maybe a little bit of neon um, yellow in there. Like if I could do yellow, I would do I would do a really pretty uh, neon yellow. Oh, there's the there's a rainbow right there. Oh my gosh, and it's so funny. The rainbow is going right into uh, the gym, where our gym is, where we're going to work out. So, oh my gosh, you guys, it is like pouring. It's kind of exciting to be driving in the pouring rain, huh? Can you hear it? I'll try to be quiet so you guys can hear it. Yay! It's kind of cool. Um, anyway, so how are you guys doing today? Wow, this rainbow is so cool. Uh, it'll be interesting because we're going to drive right over to where that rainbow is and it'll be Wow, I feel bad for that kid What is that kid doing? Wow, you hear that motorcycle you guys? That is a kid on a motorcycle Wow, we should not be driving right now oh, Let's all say a prayer for him right now pouring right now. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, we just pray right now, Lord, that you just, that you just really take care of that poor little kid on that bike. I'm going to drive really slow because I just, I don't know, I'm worried about that little kid on that motorcycle. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm driving into, like, the storm. Anyway, I'm just gonna focus on my driving. You guys just listen to the raindrops. Holy mackerel. Oh my gosh. Little girl, you're doing 
doing good. Wow. This is like really crazy, you guys. Okay, it's starting to at least lighten up a little bit. Holy moly. Like, I feel like the water is like this deep. Oh my gosh, that's just crazy. Okay, put both hands on the steering wheel and focus. This is crazy. It's it's a lot better than it is, than it was back there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've never been in a rainstorm like that. That was crazy. Anyway, we're gonna go train. Um, oh, fashion colors. So anyway, my whole message is be you, do you, and you know, have fun. There's just, I don't know, there's so much judgment in the world. That's why I love I have always loved doing uh, fun fashion colors in my hair because my whole message, I mean, if I were to get a jacket or a theme for the day, it would be do you, you know, and in, in doing that, do the best that you can do. I don't believe in like, yo, do you and be a self-centered prick. I mean, do you, do your spirit, do what it is that uh, you've come to do. I heard a really cool quote today. It was, um, ah! Um, here's what the quote was. The quote was, um, we are born, um, there are, I don't know, I guess two, it was like something like two important times in our life. One is when we're born and then the second one is figuring out what we were here to do, or born to do or something like that. I don't know. It was a really cool statement. Obviously I'm totally slaughtering it. But anyway, you guys, I love you. I'm getting ready to go in and train. The rain is letting up, so I'm gonna just uh, get on this really, really fast. Uh, big hugs and kisses to you guys. Can you see the color now? I mean, look at that. Isn't that fun? I'm gonna post, um, I'm gonna post uh, a video. I put coconut oil, so it's uh, gonna just be really nice and soft, because it's the thing when you do it, it gets like, but look at those fun colors. Yay! Um, I love fashion colors. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is gonna come down again! I love you guys. Have an amazing um, uh, day. And uh, this is going to end this vlog because then I always like to do my evening vlogs on a new one so it's not like forever and a day long. Remember what we said at the end, right? What, what, what? Stand in the truth, your truth. Stand in your light. And above all, be a warrior. Okay, you guys. Peace out. Deuces. I love you. Hey, guys. Woo! Oh my gosh, another one in the can. All right, you guys. So first of all, I wanna say hi to all my LA girls, my LA fitness girls. Um, I give them my YouTube channel, so they were gonna go and watch. So I just wanna say big what ups to you girls. They're the cutest. One of them is, I call her Tinkerbell, cause she reminds me of Tinkerbell. She's just this beautiful, beautiful sweet saw and the other one is the total keeper of the gate too they're both just amazing amazing young women so anyway you guys oh my gosh the skies are so beautiful now that rainstorm is done but listen today I want to talk about oh my gosh okay so remember you guys um, we are getting in shape for uh, our big goal is January 1 New Year's Eve right we're imagining that amazing pair of jeans that little black dress, those cute little black pumps, um, the little tiara you're gonna wear, how you're gonna have your hair done. You know, just kind of start imagining um, that amazing outfit that you're gonna be wearing. Because let me tell you, visualization is the key uh, to just doing amazing things. I, I love to be able to, I always used to say, if you can conceive it, you can achieve it. So uh, remember, remember that. And as y'all know, I'm just recovering from this hamstring tear and uh, it's like jacked my, my hip up or I can't even lift that. It's just, it's just been a horrible injury. But anyway, you guys, amazing things are happening. So if you guys have been following, we've been training every day. And um, I think when I started this vlog, I was doing 30 minutes um, at level, I think five. And um, that was hard. Today I did two 30 minutes I actually did one 30 minute session um, at level 10 and my heart rate was up at around 135 between 130 135 which is a really big deal because it was 
way back in the beginning, like one, one, 105, 112. So I'm really been getting that heart strengthened to be able to get it up there. And then I was at the seated bike. So one is kind of like more the recumbent bike and then the other one is like the seated bike. And I was able to, unfortunately on that one today, I was only able to do 17 minutes, but I do everything back to back. But I was doing 17 minutes at level 10. Um, which I was happy with and remember I always say you just you really really want to listen to your body right because the key to success is uh, listening to your body you know and talking to her and just being gentle with your soul and so on that I did 17 minutes and I could just tell I was kind of burning out and instead of burning out in my mind I just thought you know what? I'm gonna go to the recumbent because I want to keep that heart rate up by the way I was keeping my heart rate up around 135 but again, I was starting to burn out, it was too much. But instead of quitting, I just went back to the recumbent bike and did, I think, 11 minutes, 11, 15, 14 minutes on the recumbent bike at level 10. And my heart rate was uh, around 132. I think it was like one, between 131 and 133, actually. And then I felt like amazing. As you can tell, I got just totally soaked, though, sopping soaked. I went from that, then let me tell you what I did. Went to leg extensions, did three sets of. 10 but let me tell you how I did my 10 I did it on a weight that was so heavy that at level by the time I got to the seventh rep I could not do anymore so I had to bring them both legs down I had to wait and I know my lactic acid threshold so it's usually it's about five seconds I waited and then after that five seconds I just hit a really good rep so I pressed that rep up uh, for like one or two brought it back down and then got that third rep in there so it was a total of 10 repetitions but it was seven straight in a row flush and then um, doing one waiting five seconds doing one now after I do that I get off the leg extension and I did lunges uh, reverse lunges so you just you stand in neutral take your back leg back down and up keeping that back leg back there for five reps between five and six reps switch legs five and six reps then what I did you guys is I did squats no weight just my hands in front of my body putting my weight back into my heels and I did 10 reps of those then I just did that whole circuit again so I did that three times and my legs were burning okay so after I did that I then went to bench press and you guys I felt so amazing I threw 225s on each side of the bench press and I uh, did five reps. I didn't do six reps, I did five reps. And it was really nice, slow control, the tempo of about. Tempo remembers the rate of speed in which the exercise is executed. My tempo was about a two, two, two. So one, two down, hold it for a two, one, and then back up for a one, two. I held that, held my tempo for, um, I mean, it felt really, really good. And I didn't want it to be too slow, but I didn't want it to be too fast either. After I did that, I did a really beautiful set. Just between, I did around four to five reverse abs, just bringing those knees in and lifting them up, holding, uh, doing a reverse grip on the bench bar, uh, but really focusing on those hips coming in at neutral and those lower abs engaging nice and strong. Okay, after I did my reverse abs, oh baby, I went and got 20 pound dumbbells and did beautiful, deep, nice deadlifts and um, just really working on that axial load and that little lumbar spine, putting the, the weight down in those heels, pulling back those shoulders, rhomboid, rhomboids, trapezius, just really wrapping them back at the end of that rep. I love working on all those postural, <coughs> postural muscles when I finish the deadlift. And then when I was done with that, I literally started that set all over again. And oh, I did shadow box. Um, after I did the reverses. You can do that shadow boxing in there anywhere. I did anywhere between 10, 15, and 20 uh, jabs, crosses, jab crosses, then I did some elbows, then I did some body punches, and then I did some elbows to the face. Um, and those always feel really, really good. But anyway, let me just tell you, the beast is feeling good. She's got a long way to go. So I would say, on a scale of one to 10, when I started out this vlog here in Tucson, I think I was probably almost like a minus eight I wasn't even a one and I think I feel today like a one on a scale of one to ten but that's just how deconditioned my body has been but let me tell you that's not bad like most people would be like most people would be like what you feel like a one that's not that's not good I feel amazing at a one like it feels really really good um and you know 
furthermore, let me just kind of chat about that for just one real quick second. And that is the really cool thing, and you know this is the whole theme of our of all that we're doing together, and that is listening, really, really listening to your body and and honoring her voice. And let me tell you, what you want to do is, I learned this uh, actually working with animals, is that you always want to end on a really good note if you're teaching, like I used to teach uh, to my, I mean, I'm talking amateur uh, dog obedience, but um, I used to uh, teach, you know, uh, dog obedience, and I, I've been around horses my whole life, so it's like, the thing with horses, dogs, is that you always want to end when they're doing things right. And it could be 20 minutes into the session, it could be five minutes into the session. You always want to end when their head is right, when their head is correct. Well, guess what? The same thing with us as human beings. You want to head, you want to finish when our head is correct, when our, our head feels right. At least that's my philosophy. So it's like that bench press with those 25s felt so good, felt so strong. Those reverse abs felt really strong. My jabs, my punches felt really strong. My deadlifts felt really strong. It's the first time. Now, I'm doing everything really, like, gosh, such lightweight, but I don't care. Again, remember what I said? This was like eight blogs ago. Whoa. Remember what I said about, um, listening to your body and remember what I said about weight and how much weight you put on you want to listen to your body do not listen to me do not listen to and do not ever put anyone else in front of your choices right you want to your body knows what's good for her and she will reward you when you treat her right and when you do her right, right? My whole thing about doing, having different hair colors and things like that is I'm always telling you guys, do you, right? Do you. Yeah, because who else is going to? Who else can do you better than you do you, right? So um, I'm, really, I, I'm really stoked about tonight's training session. And what's really gonna be exciting is that um, I was talking to my twin today and she was saying, yo, Kita, you got to keep these uh, YouTube videos under three minutes. Well, that's not my point to have these under three minutes and I'll tell you why. My point is that I want you guys to have something where you can watch, you can actually, you know, get a flavor of like, what was it like my first six months living in Tucson? And with me doing these vlogs, uh, these vlogs every day, you really get to see and appreciate, uh, you know, getting lost. You guys have found gas stations with me. We've gotten to Goodwill together. Um, we've done all these amazing adventures. We've gotten stuck in rainstorms. Uh, we go down these streets that have no lights um, and we have no idea where we're going. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But anyway, it's a, a vlog is just, you know, it's like a little video diary and it's just going to be really cool. It's going to be cool because I know the direction that I'm going to take my health in and there's nothing more inspiring than when people can go back and go, well, look at you now. I mean, there's nothing to relate to, but when they can actually go back and see, you know, see that I was struggling with, with my weight, see that I was struggling with injuries and together as a team we are going to overcome that and and be conquerors we are going to uh triumph and uh be totally amazing so anyway y'all y'all um this ends this blog but i just want to remind you hopefully this is going to get you i just want to remind you guys to just you know believe in yourself and to just never ever give up and if i'm that cheerleader for you i am gl i am gladly going to take that but don't give in to peer pressure be yourself be strong in who you are find your purpose find your mission and how do you do that you just see what excites you uh what gets you what gets you jazz do you like art do you like music do you like sports you know, do you like science? Do you like math? I mean, ask yourself what you like. Find out what that is. Get involved. Get passionate. Give back. And you'll see your life start to change. You'll see your weight start to disappear. And you'll see your life really, really move forward at an accelerated pace and have great, great passion. All right, you guys. You know how we, stand, we, we sign up. Stand in your truth. Stand in your light. And above all else, be what, what, what? Be a warrior. And you know what I'm going to add on into that? 
be a superhero. Okay, take care. God bless you guys. Bye.